Since the appearance of the dreaded coronavirus in November 2019 in Wuhan, China, more than 603,660,392 people all over the world were infected, and amongst which 6,480,813 lost their lives to the infection. About 578,502,000 259 recovered, and many of whom have received shots of the coronavirus vaccine. The World Health Organization declared the novel human coronavirus disease outbreak a public health emergency of international concern on the 30th of January 2020. During the heat of the pandemic caused by the coronavirus, countries, pharmaceutical companies and individuals made several efforts to develop vaccines that will tackle the outbreak and there were breakthroughs. However, Africa has not made a great impact in developing a vaccine for the deadly virus. Instead, the continent had to depend on importation of this vaccine from foreign countries. It has become a matter of urgency for Africa to join the rest of the world in the production of its own vaccine. As it was estimated that the continent currently imports 99% of its vaccines and consumes 25% of the global vaccine supply. It is to this end that the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, took it upon itself to sponsor the production of COVID-19 vaccines in Nigeria as the first indigenous successful effort towards bridging the vaccine gap. In what can be described as a major breakthrough, the Vaccine Development Efforts Project sponsored by the fund has started yielding results as the COVID-19 vaccine project sponsored by the fund will be ready for first clinical trial in November this year. The Vice Chancellor of Usman Danfordo University, Sokoto, Professor Lawal Suleiman Bilbiz, on Wednesday led the team of researchers to brief the Executive Secretary of TED Fund, architect Sonny Echono, on the progress so far. If members can recall, sometime last year, uh, we were here uh, to be inaugurated and also received the grant uh, from the TED Fund to work on vaccines. Uh, when in 2019, 2020, coronavirus get into the world, uh, sometime around October 2019, in China and spread the world within three months, every part of the world has tested the uh, funk of the virus. Uh, third world were taken by surprise uh, because uh, vaccine protection capability and expertise were lacking in the third world. Even in the advanced world, uh, it would take about 10 years to roll out the vaccines from the laboratory down to the uh, marketplace. The East or was a technology that was being used uh, to fast track uh, vaccine productions, that is the other DNA or RNA vaccines. That technology was used in animal vaccine production, but it was, it was never tested for human uh, vaccine productions. When the world was troubled by the rate at which the virus is spreading and also the fatality of the infections, the world has no option but to put the thinking cap and see how this, can this technology be utilized and adopted for human vaccine production. Uh, the pharmaceutical giants, they have all the resources and the experts to do, and they did, then the vaccine now become a diplomatic issue. Which country we get what? Here in Nigeria, we are at the mercy of God. We are always being at the mercy of God. Uh, but the situation comes that uh, we need to do something about uh, ourselves. We get some shot from the uh, international community, but that's not going to be enough. A nation of 200 million, and uh, we now have up to a million to vaccinate. Uh, we had a discussion at that point there then. We said we have the expertise scattered across our institutions. Why not pull them together to see what we can do? And uh, we were saying at one time, I said, Americans be beloved simply because they use carrot. They use money to develop. As a scientist, you develop, you get patent, they buy the patent, and they develop. The Russia used stick and carrot. They will come to the institutions, what can you do? And recently, you see, we can do this. 
They say, okay, what do you require to do that? They will tell you, you tell them you require this. Okay, you do it, if you don't do it, you know the consequences. Just take you to Siberia. In Nigeria, what do we have? We either have the money or the carrot. And I was saying that our first meeting is, why not set a target? Okay, let's ask Nigerian scientists within a team most common with coronavirus vaccines. If we don't, whatever platform would do with us, platform is free to do that. We have given ourselves a platform. So, Manafur University, uh, Naima in Lagos, Narit in Zaria, uh, Vom, Better Research Institute in Vom, and the University of Jos in Jos. The five were pulled together to come up with the vaccines. And we put our resources. So, Manafur University and Naima in Lagos. Uh, to come up with DNA vaccine and protein vaccines. Uh, Nairi desire is to come off with the nanoparticles that will carry the vaccines. Uh, University of Joss is to do the animal trial of the vaccines. To consider the safety and the efficacy of the vaccine in animal before we go into human. Uh, VOM uh, to do the human trial and also the synthesis of the machine because they have the ability to produce the vaccines. Already they are producing animal vaccines and they are also working toward a human vaccine production facilities. Uh, thank you to Fond and God, uh, we are giving our first trench and we said within the 18 months we are going to come off with the vaccine candidate that the nation can try and human clinical trial. We have taken about six months now, and we think we are ready to tell the TED Fund that the vaccines, before the end of November, the vaccine will be ready for pre clinical The Vice Chancellor explained that they were able to make the breakthrough with the maximum support of the fund, recalling how COVID 19 pandemic ravaged and unleashed untold hardship on humanity globally. Our consortium. It's one of the best consortium working on vaccine in Nigeria, if not the best. But other consortium are also invited. We are to make a presentation to the Minister of Health today, 3 o'clock, and to see the President tomorrow, 10 o'clock, and to see the investors tomorrow after seeing the President. We discuss among ourselves, Ted Fund is the founder of this work. Where Ted Fund is meeting with us, I don't see other people don't care about us. But Ted Fund cared and believed in us. So we think it's just normal and logical for Ted Fund to first hear from us, rather than the Ted Fund members and the ES, uh, to be here tomorrow in the uh, NTA that uh, an consortium in Nigeria is very close to having a vaccine production. And uh, we just see a logo of Ted Fund that's funded by Ted Fund. We think it's not fair for Ted Fund and not fair for the good relationship we have with Ted Fund. Professor Lawa also noted that the team got the support of Ted Fund not only in COVID-19, but also in Lassa fever and other infectious diseases, noting that the team was meticulous in their research by ensuring that all the factors responsible for the reemergence of different COVID-19 variants were considered to make sure they don't manifest in future. The executive secretary of Ted Fund architect Sonny Echono in his response commended the team for the great feat achieved within a time limit to make the country proud with the progress recorded in the vaccine production. He further explained that as a national project, it has become a national pride, assuring that Ted Fund would continue to assist the cross-cutting efforts of the researchers to ensure the desired goal is achieved. Indeed, when I have conversations with the Vice Chancellor of the University of Goodman Napoli University, the first thing that goes to my mind is just, what is the timeline? When are we aware of what is this progress? When are we going to have this vaccine? And what is the time frame for rollout? And he did acknowledge that a lot of work has been done, as we said, we are at the first stage. 
and we expect that by the time we get to the clinical trials, um, we're almost there. Okay, so I thank you all for the great work you're doing. And um, I want you to also understand that this is a national project. National pride is involved. Vaccine independence rides on it. And yes, that may have been a slight dip in the spread of COVID and its, especially its impact. Uh, not too many people are dying as we used to, uh, but uh, it is still out there. And moreover, uh, there is no end to go. Just as you said, these uh, occurrences will continue to happen. Uh, we will have diseases and all sorts of uh, uh, pandemics. Uh, coming up. So once we have the capacity, it's, it's a lot easier to adjust to any new occurrence than starting from the scratch the way uh, you did. You're on the right path and almost setting to achieve a desirable outcome. So um, I want to, uh, at this stage, encourage you to continue this. And then the fact that it's a cross-cutting, collaborative effort. It's something that uh, we welcome. We in Tetron are already behind it. And this is one initiative we will be proud to continue to support till you get to the end, which is the Nigerian made vaccine to address COVID first, and then other vaccines to address all the other uh, challenges that we face. Uh, so I welcome you. I wish you the best of luck in your meetings with the Ministry of Health especially your presentation to this president as well. The accelerated development of COVID-19 vaccines using innovative technology approach and the funding by TED Fund has become a national pride for all Nigerians, giving the continent hope that we are ready to fill the technology gap in vaccine production as an African country.